Didn't you just hear that sound? No. No. It must just be the wind rustling through the trees. I guess so. Sheridan's gone. I know. It still doesn't seem possible. We loved her so much. We were so close. Besides my mother, I was closer to her than anyone else in the family. Now that she's gone, what am I gonna do? I have no one to talk to, to confide in. I'll be all alone. No, Ethan. She'll help fill the void that Sheridan left in your life. You and your wife will talk and share things and be close. And together you'll keep Sheridan's memory alive. My wife. I have to make that decision soon, and I promise I will. Somehow I'll choose between you and Teresa. Gwen can comfort Ethan now, but soon I'll be the woman on his side. Tonight, I'll tell Louise the truth. As long as Louise hears it from me, I think things will be okay. Oh, Lord, look. Sam is talking to Julian. What could they have to talk about? I have no idea. Maybe security for the motorcade back to the mansion? No, no, no. It's more than that. Oh, my God. We're finished here. You're to go straight back to the mansion. I want to see you in the library. Why, Julian? What's it about? You'll know in good time. You and Ethan. It's Sam Bennett. Oh, my God. He knows. Julian knows that Ethan is Sam's son. Sheridan is in her final resting place. I now ask that members of her family symbolically lay her to rest by tossing handfuls of earth on her coffin. Rest in peace. My sister, dear. I'm so sorry your life had ended like this, Sharon. I said no. What's going on? Maybe they're about to open the coffin and save me. <laughs> <laughs>